what's happening, what's happening, what's happening? Hey, I got something for you. I know I haven't posted one in a minute, right? I've been moving, man. I've been moving. It's a lot of work moving, right? But check it out. Check it out. Hey, gamer, you asked for signal. You asked for signal. And, you know, if your guys ask me for something, I'm going to go into the lab and get it for you, right? Ain't nobody else going to do this shit for you for free but me. Is anybody else going to do it for you for free but me? So, Ross. Ross hit me up, right? Ross in Arkansas. I'm going to have Ross identify himself in the comments, man, so y'all know who he is. Uh, this is the dude who took me on his journey, man. I wouldn't even mess with Forex shit if he wouldn't have stayed on me and said, AT, hey, get your ass away from that crypto boy shit and come on over here. <laughs> He ain't say it like that because, you know, my boy, he heavy in church. I don't, you know, I don't know how you tolerate me with my cussing ass, but he's heavy in the church. But in a real church like way, in a real godly way, he said, get your fucking ass from over there by Bitcoin and come over here. <laughs> and I listen. I listen. So here's how we here's how our setup went. Ross hit me this morning. Right. I've been moving. That's why all this shit looks discombobulated, right? It's all going to be lit up in a little bit, but right now, it's not. So I got two of these lit up. He said, bro, I'm working blind, man. How long you need to finish this move? I said, bro, I'm almost done. He said, well, I'm working blind because this is our cockpit, man. This is, this is Starship Enterprise right here. This is where we figure out. Where are we going? And if we're going to go somewhere, this is how we figure it out. You say, man, what's up with AUDJPY? Now, check it out. This is something I wouldn't have never, never selected this shit. <laughs> he said, what's up with it? So, hey, he's the captain. I'm the navigator. I go look at it. Look what I saw. Pop, pop. See that? See that off that line? Let me move this over so you can see. You are the signal, gamer. You want signals? You are the signal. That's what I saw. Pop. Right? See, see all that dancing around that zero? Zero. If this is zero... Where else it has to go? If it touched zero again, look, the likelihood that it's going down here, think of this as probabilities, okay? Think of it as probability. Remember probability statistics? Remember that? You fell asleep in that class? Ah, it's back again to haunt your ass. Zero percent probability, it's gonna go beyond that line. Unless it's Bitcoin, they don't give a fuck with their ignorant ass. They'll shoot across that line just to prove a point. But with Forex, Fibonacci governs pretty much everything that they do. All their decisions are made off of Fibonacci um, indicators. And if y'all want me to go deeper into the Fibonacci, you should just put it in a comment. I will. Right? But at a glance, A is for Apple. 0, 23, 38, 50, 61, 78, 88, 100. Probability. These are called Fibonacci zones, right? And I use it for, for probabilities. Other people don't use it for probabilities. Some people use it for pullback and retractions, okay? But I don't go by other people's stuff, all right? I like cooking my own shit with my own pots on my own stove and I use it for probability there's a greater probability it's going down this is a daily chart right well let's let's I'm, I'm looking at a daily chart and I'm basing it off what it's done before right there that's below this is this is I daily it went through what would have been a hundred percent there so it came off the off the huge probability 
down and touch. This is okay. What is it done historically? Once it busts through that line, it always went back up and touched it up here. This is a daily chart. Back in August, August 2021. Where August 21? August 2021. Right? August the 20th, 2021. It broke through. Which means that up here, it touched on when, when did it touch? August 20, 2022. So where is it going? It's a strong probability. <laughs> That's all we're saying. There's a strong probability shit's going down. Right? This guy from Lux Algo say, T, I don't want you trading off directly off those pivots because those pivots on the delay. I say, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it being on the delay. But that shit is a good indication of where it's going, though. He said, yeah, you could do it that way. He said, but it is on a delay. I said, okay, cool. Hey, I like that even better. <laughs> I like that even better. So this is a pump fake. That's a pump fake. Right there. That's a pump fake. In a worst case scenario, it's going to touch the line again. Then his ass going down. So when you say you need signals, you are the signal. You become the signal. Right? How do I do that, T? Right here. Go get Smart Fibo. Smart Fibonacci. Smart Fibonacci. Don't use this shit for crypto. Because Bitcoin is a scam. So don't use this shit for crypto. Fuck the criminal ass Asians. Stick with what I'm telling you to do. Switch this right here. It's going to be on MTF. Switch it to here. Periodic bars. That's the one you want. Right? That's going to give you the, the appropriate distance right there. So if there is, if there is a bounce off one of these lines, you'll see it clearly. What you talking about, TJ? I don't understand none of this shit you're talking about. All right, go to the go. To, let's look at a one minute chart with shit moving and going up and down. All right, I'm about to wrap this up. Look at one minute chart. Right, hits the line bounce. Hit a line bounce. Hit a line bounce. Hit a line retract. Right now we're here. Up here, bang. See, it hit zero. Hit zero. It hit zero. See what it did? Pump fake. Stay the course. Straight down. Hit 100%. This is one minute chart. We'll make decisions off one minute charts. We use them for fire alarms. So all the one minute is good for is a fucking fire alarm. Let you know if you got a carbon monoxide leak in your house. That's it. That's it. That's all it's good for. What's happening right now? But banks in Forex, banks drive this shit. And banks look at daily, weekly, and monthly charts. They don't look at this shit. <laughs> Only people looking at this shit are new traders. Okay? A, a scam artist named Oracle trying to teach you how to do some bullshit on a one-minute you know, 100x on one minute chart. Scams like that, right? As you mature in this shit, you make decisions, you stick in a herd. You know, you break away from the herd, lions eat your ass. You stick in a herd, you have a greater chance. Well, on the daily charts, the four hour charts, there are more people that watch those charts than this chart, okay? Everybody paying attention to this shit, but you can use it for a fire alarm. So, Pump fake. That's a pump fake. They call it. They call it support and all that. That's a pump fake in football. That's a pump fake when a quarterback act like he gonna pitch this shit and he don't. And then you bite. You bite. And you get your ass caught. Double move. Wop wop. Now you out. Stay the course. You know if that shit hit up here, 
if it hit here, there's a strong probability he's going to go down here. I've just taught you how to be the signal. Fuck paying people for signals. You are the signal. Okay? You don't have to pay nobody for that. So how do I set it up, TJ? Start with a view you can easily discern or analyze, right? So start with a chart like a 15 or a 30 minute. Just to get a perspective. Once you have a perspective, then you start moving further down the line. 15. Look at 30. We're looking for a consensus. We're looking for a consensus. That's a 30. Then I go to two hours. Looking for a consensus. Two hour chart. Is that still going to go down T? Yeah. Look at a zero. See a zero? Probability. Probability. Then I go to the four hour. You are the signal. Don't pay nobody for shit. Look at your four hour chart. Now this is where we start to make money decisions at. Right here. That's where we start to make money decisions at. So if you're on a short here. You're actually early. See how we're getting in. We're finding these shorts early. We're early. Because that upward push. That pump fake. All that shit that's going on is going to push it. It's going to hit this. And that's probabilities. Look what it says on a, on a four hour chart. The probability of it touching that line is what? That means we're early. So when he hits this line, pow, guess what's gonna happen? This is gonna recycle. This is gonna reship. This is gonna flip. Now we're going down. 100 is gonna turn, 100 is gonna appear there. Okay? Zero, bottom. Waiting on another top up here, bottom. I can't do no more. I can't do no more. I have just shown you how to find your own signal. If you need me to elaborate a little bit more, I didn't want to do a long video, right? Need me to elaborate a little bit more, let me know. And if you found this channel helpful, buy me a five piece from Popeyes. That's Cash App TJ LSU Dad. TJ LSU Dad. Money symbol TJ LSU Dad. <laughs> five people with a biscuit and a drink. That's all I need. Biscuit and drink. Oh, and a pepper. It's your boy TJ New Orleans. Love y'all.